What's up, you idiot? What's up, you idiot? You little birch. You little birches out there. We're love doctors. You feel me? We're love doctors. We're love doctors. You, know? you smell me? Yeah, we're and, called uh, That's Racist. And we're on Billboard.com. And we're telling you all about the fact. The birds and the bees. Yeah, love and lust. Uh, you know? Oh, and lust. <laughs> I lost my virginity in a fruit truck. That's usually the, the one that people find craziest. I was um, working at a produce uh, market kind of stand area. Or this uh, girl I knew at the time came over, said what up, and then kind of jokingly said she would have sex with me, and I thought she was joking. And then she came back at the end of the day, and we like smoked weed and f in the truck. It was pretty cool. Dana Teller, you got Dana, a great question. At Dana Teller, you're a thinker. That's a complicated question. You love your mom or your dad a different way from how you love your best friend, different way from how you like love someone that you have sex with. And then you love two different people that you had sex with in the past differently because you had different experiences with them. Now, I don't know how many times. <laughs> or probably, I don't know. reach around when someone's <laughs> first date it depends you know really like is she a freak then it's not during too much during the date during the date you that's ask for the reach OD. around like at dinner on the first date <laughs> yeah that's a little od it's a little od but at dinner maybe I mean, but you know to eat your own who am i to tell anybody how to live their life Caroline Niambura, that's a great question. I think there's some truth to horoscopes, although very little, almost none. I'd say there's no truth in horoscopes. I would agree that there's some truth, um, but actually, yeah, very little, or actually there's no truth. I, I like astrology. I would say I, that. I'm, I'm, I, I fuck with astrology. I would say that I horoscopes, fuck with astrology. Horoscopes, though, I don't, I don't know. Horoscopes, I don't You know, I mean, I, would say I guess that they, they go truth. hand in hand, right? I would say that there's some truth. There's some truth, but, but very little. I had a friend that used to write horoscopes, and I know she made them up. Okay, so there you go. Uh, probably some people still fuck with it, but I think divorce rates have been steadily rising. Um, Marriage has always seemed like kind of a sham. My parents were still married, but they probably should have broken up at a certain point. But they seem all right together now, so maybe you just weather the storm or whatever. I don't know. I don't really fuck with monogamy that much, but I could see how you might get tired out by the end of your life and want to just stick with one person or you know i like monogamy i think it's very sweet <laughs> i think it's a kind gesture i'm more like maybe conservative when it comes to like relationships and sex and stuff i'm more kind of i came up in like a traditional indian hindu family and like i think monogamy is very important yeah sometimes it sucks though Lady Music Lover, that's a great question. At Lady Music Lover, that's a really good question. Are you a lady that loves music or do you love lady music? Is my question for you. Oh, huh? Huh. Lady Music lady Lover? Both. Reality shows skew reality in general, so I guess I go with yeah. But I mean, what doesn't skew reality, man? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, because those are just people that are influenced by non-reality TV shows and what they've taught them to think about love, acting on it and it being presented as reality when in, it's there, but shows, they're, so. you know, still influenced by the same like movies and TV shows that have taught you that this is how love works and this is how people feel when they are in love and this is what relationships are supposed to be like and this is the path of a relationship. So, I mean, those people just kind of like us, you know, the, are, these things are put in your head and you kind of like i don't think that they're no no i think they're just the same as any other form of entertainment yeah okay what's up l boogie biggs what's up at l boogie biggs? clever little word thing i appreciate nice, that nice words little, uh, are my play things play too on word. my profession so I, I, I dig that i don't think it really matters <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I don't think it really matters. <laughs> At Sweet Cup and Jake, what's up? What's really good? Uh, they're kind of stressful, actually. Had a few a of them. A little awkward. A little awkward sometimes. Pretty fun. I would suggest it as like a one to, you know, however many times type of thing pretty you want to do. Pretty awkward, but still pretty cool. Yeah, like try it out, definitely. But it, I don't think it's like a 
and the thing that I would want to be doing all the time, I kind of like can't focus too well anyway. It's easier with one person. It's like acid, you gotta try it at least once, you know? Yo, what's up, Loco Zada? Yo, what's up, Loco Zada? Being used for your mustache, you gotta leave this woman. She could be telling the truth. She could be lying. That's you. See, actually, you yeah, got to you know, know that. Yeah, why you know are you asking you, me yeah, about why that? Why are you asking us about I'm a rapper. Probably. What was the question again? Oh, she, yeah, she's using you, man. But who's not using who? Anyone, mm -hmm. right? I mean, who's using who? You're using her. Yeah. Why? What makes you so special? Mm-hmm.